Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Railroad Empire. Today we're going to be doing part 5 of the end scale air. We're going to be working on this mountain right here, finishing it up, and we're going to get grass on it. I'm so happy to hear that you guys are giving great positive feedback on all the episodes of this and how much you guys are enjoying it. So I'm going to try and hopefully start posting these end scale air updates a little more often. So here's part 5 and we're going to get to work on this hill. So first you wanna gonna want you're gonna wanna go ahead and take some hairspray or glue or whatever you're using. I'm just using this hairspray here to hold down the dirt. And we're just gonna finish putting it over here to hold down the dirt. Make sure like if some gets on your track, you just like use your fingers or a towel or a paper towel or wipe it off or something. And then once you got your glue or hairspray down, whatever you're using, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your dirt, whatever you're using for that too. I'm just using ground cumin for that. Looks pretty nice once you get it done. So you just wanna go ahead, do a generous coat of it all over the place. Make sure that it's covering all of your paint or maybe you're not using paint, I don't know. But make sure you get all that down. Then once you're done, we're gonna go ahead and apply the grass to it. So just get all that coming down, or the dirt. Some people just like to sift out real dirt and use it, but these cumin things are 98 cents. I get them from Walmart and they're 98 cents. So they seem to work pretty good for me. So now that we've got the cumin down there, we're gonna go ahead and do our turf. So I tend to use the yellow grass first and put that down. So we're gonna go ahead and put the yellow grass down. I don't do a lot, but just enough so you can kind of see it. just so it adds a texture. I'm actually doing it on the whole hill here, too. It just gives it a little more color variety. So now you guys can see how it looks with the yellow on it. You guys can definitely see the hints of yellow in there. And now that we've got that on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the Woodland Scenics Burnt Grass. So let's go ahead and get that down. Okay, here we go. Try to open the bottle up and get to work here. So that's going down quite nicely. I'd say it's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, that little section there, it's looking pretty nice. Here it's kind of flat. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. I've got a little bit of extra rock pieces here. Maybe we could Put one of those in there. I don't know, I just don't wanna overdo it with the rocks because I know I've got a big section of rock that runs along back there already. So I just don't really wanna overdo it. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do there. Maybe just paint it, um, paint it gray or rock color or something just to make it look better than a flat dirt wall. But just keep going on with your grass. Now, if you are going to want to do a darker grass, you're going to go ahead and after this, you're going to want to put on um, the Woodland Scenics coarse turf, or I use the Woodland Scenics, that's what I use, I use the Woodland Scenics just the fine turf, not the fine turf, the Woodland Scenics green grass coarse turf stuff. Sometimes I use fine and sometimes I use like the coarser, doesn't really matter unless you're really looking at having textures. I do recommend having the coarse turf down. It just gives your layout a lot more texture and it makes it look a lot more realistic, of course. So we're just gonna go ahead and get all that done. And yeah, that looks pretty good for the green. I'm just gonna get a little more closer to the track here. Make sure all the dirt's covered up. And make I almost forgot to get over here by the road and down there so once you're satisfied with all your grass go ahead and either if that's all that you're gonna do I'd say that looks pretty good how it is I'm just gonna put a little more hairspray here on the uh, hill and then put down a little more of the green because I want to make sure I get a lot of the little places of uh, brown there covered in green and I want to make sure that it sticks 
So now that we've got a little more hairspray on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put more grass on to make sure it's sticking everywhere. See, now I'm covering up a little bit more of that because it's sticking better. But yeah, I'd say now that's looking pretty good. I do see we've got a little bit of a hole there. Maybe I can put like a bush there or something. Let's see, I'll grab a bush real quick here. Just to cover that up. Yep, there we go, look at that, that bush folded in great. So now we're going to take the darker green or you can leave it like that. It's all up to you on what color you want your grass. See, this is a little bit darker down here. We gotta blend it with that. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our darker green and put that down. Okay, so. For this layout, this is actually coarse turf inside here. I'm just reusing the bottle. It says fine turf, but that's what I'll be using. I hope there's enough. I'm kind of pretty low on that at the moment. I'm just kind of shake it to get all like some of the crumps, crump, like the big bush type things in it. So Also, that I put that bush in, I want to make sure I blend that in nice too. Let's go ahead and sprinkle that on. So you guys can definitely see the difference in color once I get this turf on here. Yeah, already it's really, it just gives it so much texture in my opinion. It just looks so much nicer than just having the plain green. If you want, you guys can do the darker colors first and then make your way to the lighter colors. That does look too, that does look good too if you want like a lighter color grass, but I tend to like the darker color grasses. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this layout. But there we go. That is looking pretty good there. Just blend the two areas there a bit more, especially where that bush is. But yeah. Just gonna make my way to the other side and make sure it's good by where the rocks are. And that looks, that looks pretty good. Okay. So now that you guys have gotten that done, if you're still following the video to this point, I will tend to take a little more of my yellow grass and put that on just to give it a little bit more texture. So the texture and color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You don't want a lot or else you're really going to ruin your dark color. You don't want it to stand out too much. There it goes a little bit there. Spread it around. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now if you guys want, you can add some bushes to it, which I will be doing. I will take some, like uh, some lighter bushes and some darker bushes, rip them up into smaller chunks and just kind of spread them around to add some like roughness to the terrain. So I'm gonna go ahead and do yeah. As you can see when we get bushes, they're quite big and they're there compared to the size of my hand. So we definitely wanna rip those up into little pieces and just kinda throw them on there really. Just let them go where they wanna go. Sometimes I'll place them nicely. So you wanna make sure, depending on the scale you're doing, that these are pretty small because if they're too big, it's gonna look a little awkward. So right now I'm just putting little bits of light bush on, light colored green bushes on, and then I'll go ahead and do the dark in a sec. Yeah, we're just gonna finish putting those little chunks on all over the place. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab a dark bush. Here's a darker one. And we're gonna spread that one around. Just to give a little one there and there well I'd say that looks pretty good and now I think I'm gonna do a little bit more turf I'm gonna do my lighter burnt grass here just to do a little more blending of the bushes because now it looks like they were just randomly placed which they were but we do want to blend that in a little bit more those bushes so I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little more of this on especially where the bushes are just to blend it all a little bit better There we go. This land's really coming together now. We've got this whole section done here. So 
So yeah, guys, I think that'll be it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment if there's anything I can do to make this layout better. Just put another one more grass here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time on the Railroad Empire.